Hi guys, I am back with another haul video. I have a lot of books to show you guys, but first I got some DVDs. I think I have like seven DVDs to show you and like 40 something books, so let's get started. So the first DVD I got is Wolf Blood Season 2. I absolutely love this series, so I had to get Season 2. Yes, I cannot wait to get Season 3 on DVD. I absolutely love this series, and I would highly recommend it. And then I got Battle Royale, the movie. I absolutely loved, loved this movie. I saw it on Netflix, and I fell in love with it. And this is a lot better than The Hunger Games. I would highly recommend this, but it's really mature, so let's say 17 and then up if you want to see this movie. So, yes. And then, I am watching this TV show right now. I am obsessed with it. I'm watching the show, and I'm reading the books. And that is Game of Thrones Season 1 on DVD. Love these box sets. They are gorgeous. Love how shiny the box set is. So, yes, I love, love the show. It's just... It's extremely mature, so I'd say 18 and up if you want to watch this. It's extremely graphic, but I absolutely love this show. I'm on Season 1, Episode 6 right now. And then I got Season 2 on DVD, Love This Cover. How about how the crown's all shiny. Cannot wait to see this season. The best show on television. It really is. It is so good. I cannot wait to be up to date with it so then I can see season 7. And then I got season 3 on DVD, Loveless with the Dragon. Fine in the back. And then I got season 4 on DVD. This has a really cool picture of a, of a crow. All men must die. <laughs> the most epic, ambitious, ambitious show on television. So yeah, I'm going to probably start to binge watch the show really soon. And I got season 5. On DVD, love this cover with Tyrion right there and the dragon. So that's season 5. Then I got season 6 in the Slim Edition, which I love the cover, but kind of makes me sad they went to, they started to make the boxes a little bit more cheaper now, but I guess I, could un I can understand it. But yeah, it looks like a really cool season. And then, speaking of Game of Thrones, I got the box set. I actually found this in my house. So I got book one, A Game of Thrones. I'm currently reading this. I'm like almost halfway through. It's such a good book. I would highly recommend this. Yes, really good. And then I got the box set, like I said. So I got A Clash of Kings, which is book two, and is currently my next book on my TBR. Book three, A Storm of Swords. Book four, A Feast for Crows. And book five, A Dance of Dragons. And it has a really cool box set, so that's what the back looks like. And then I got... Wolf Blood, Call of the Wild, in book form, because I have to get this in book form. I haven't read book one yet, but I cannot wait. They were no ordinary teenagers. And I actually heard some stuff in the book is in the show, so I really want to read this. But I think I'm going to get the next two books, and then I'm just going to binge read it. Then I got Battle Royale, the novel, because I love the movie so much, and I found it out, out there was a book translated, because I can't read Japanese. But this looks like such a good book. This looks so much better than The Hunger Games. And it has a map, and 
I'm a sucker for maps and books, and I just cannot wait to read this. Looks so good. And then I got the Jade Lioness. This is a Japanese book. Um, I think this is the third book in the Kush Kumashiro series by Christina Courtney. So I completed the trilogy, and I'm super happy. I cannot wait to just binge read it now. It's like such a good series, and the covers are beautiful. And then I got some dystopian books, so I got Unwind by Neil Schusterman. I have been dying to read this series for the longest time, and I got this at Goodwill. I got a lot of my books at Goodwill or online from Amazon, and I heard he's a really good author, so I want to try to read his books. And I got the last book of the series that I, I began last year, and that is The Revival by Chris White. It is the third and final book to the Young World trilogy. I haven't read book two, The New Order, but I cannot wait to just binge read the last two books. Now, I love the cover. Spine looks gorgeous in the back. And it's super, super thin. It's like not even 300 pages. So, yeah, I cannot wait to read this. And then I got book two and three of The Giver, The Giver, uh, Quartet by Lois Lowry. So I got Gathering Blue, which has a gorgeous cover. Spine in the back. And then I got, and then I found Messenger. So all I need is Sun, and then I'm going to binge read the series. And then I got The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. This is a book about Fae. Normally, I'm not really a big fan of fairies, but I decided to give us a try. Once again, found it at Goodwill. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And then I found a thrown-up glass at Goodwill for a dollar sixty-three in hardcover. I couldn't believe I found this at Goodwill. And this book series is really overhyped, but I'm willing to give it a try. And the cover art is gorgeous. So, yes. And then I found Scarlet by A.C. Gahagan. I think I pronounced that wrong. Love the cover. This is basically like Peter Pan, but Peter Pan's like assassin. And I had to pick this up, because <laughs> this just sounded way, way too good. Once again, found this at Goodwill. And it's it's part of a series, so I'm going to buy the other books in the series. And I picked up some James Patterson books. I found Confessions of a Murder, Sh M Murder Suspect. And I have been dying to read this book ever since I read the preview in Nevermore. And I love this cover. The spine looks gorgeous, and so does the back. You couldn't kill your parents, could you? I love that right there. So, yeah, I can't wait to get the rest of the books in the series. And then I rebought some books in hardcover, so I bought The Schools Out Forever in hardcover. So, I got finally got all the Maximum Rod books in hardcover. There's the spine, and there's the back. I just got this for like two forty-five. I couldn't pass this up. And I love, love, love the series. The I just bought volume eight of the manga, so that's coming, and the movie's coming out, and I'm so excited to see the movie. And then I got Ruby in hardcover because. I'm trying to find all the VC Andrew books in hardcover, and my condition of Ruby was just really, really shitty and gross. So now I got a nice hardcover copy. And then I found Dawn in hardcover for like a dollar. It's a book club edition. There's a spine and the back, which has a gorgeous step back picture. But I, but I don't mind because I really wanted this book in hardcover. And then I found. Pearl, Pearl in the Mist. I already have this in hardcover, but I found one with the step back picture in it, and this is gonna be this is gonna be my reading copy. 
caught it at Goodwill. So yeah, I couldn't really pass this up for like 63 cents. And then my last V.C. Andrew book that I got is Whiteburn in hardcover. This is the sequel to My Sweet Aldrina. And the cover's gorgeous. Spine and the back. I'm trying to get all V.C. Andrew books in hardcover, like I said. And then I found some Stephen King books. So I got Cujo in paperback. I love, love this cover. His bite is, is worse than his bark. Much, much worse. What's interesting is King doesn't remember writing this book because he was high on drugs and alcohol. So I'm kind of interested interested to see what he would write when he was high on drugs and alcohol. And then I found Four Past Midnight at Goodwill. Love, love this cover. Spine and the back. It's super thick, but I needed to get this book. I love King. I'm trying to get all of his books in hardcover. And then I found book, books two and four in the Dark Tower series. So I found book two, Drawing of the Three. I love this cover. Sign back. Then I found book four, Wizard in Glass. This is like new condition. I couldn't believe I found this at Goodwill. Spine and the back. Then I found Pet Cemetery First Edition hardcover with the dust jacket for five dollars online. And the reason it's shiny is because it has a dust jacket protector on it. I couldn't believe I found this online. First edition hardcover. And then I got the stand in hardcover. Because this. Why not get the stand? I got, I got this for like $16, but it's well, well worth the money for a book this thick. You could kill someone with this book. So, yeah, and then I got The Wicked Heart by Christopher Pike. I love this cover. I have been dying to get this book for the longest time. I just haven't gotten around to it because it was either too pricey or most of the conditions were acceptable and I don't buy acceptable conditions for books. And then since I want to be a writer, I found Writer's Little Helper at Goodwill. It's just tips on writer's block, building characters, setting, what to avoid, how to market your book, narration, and much more. So I'm going to read this and I cannot wait to write some more of my book. And I found a lot of uh, historical romances. So I got book eight of the Mallory Anderson series by Joanne Lindsay, which is Captives of My Desire. It's a gorgeous step back picture. Love Joanne Lindsay. Trying to collect all of her books. And I found Fighters of Winter. This is a nice, like, Viking romance. I had to get this. Loved, loved her, her uh, Secret Fire book. Never a Viking's captive, forever a Viking's love. So. Yep. And then I found You Belong to Me, which is a Russian historical romance, and I just stopped reading after the synopsis after I read the word Russian, so, yeah. Once again, loved Secret Fire because that was a Russian historical romance. And then I found Dark Emerald today at Goodwill by Lisa Jackson. Love the cover, spine and the back. The Orphan, the Rogue, the Longing. So it's really beautiful and I couldn't pass it up. And then I found... Midnight Blue, also at Goodwill today. I couldn't decide what book to get, so I just bought both. Gorgeous cover. Spine and the back. So, Yep, got that book. And then I found The Clan of the Cave Bears. Found it at Goodwill with the dust jacket, and it has a map. And I just lost everything, because I love 
m maps and books. This is like book one of like an eight book series. So, yeah, cannot wait to read this. And then I found two Casey Edward books. So I found Savage Passion. Which looks gorgeous. Could not pass up this Native American romance. And then I also found Wild Thunder. So, looks like it's gorgeous books. Cannot wait to read these. And then I found The Ransom of Mercy Carter by Caroline B. Cooney. Because I read the Janie Johnson series about her. And I really loved her that series. So I decided to try a new book by her. So, yeah. It's really, really small. But... Oh well. And then I re read Forbidden Passions. I already read this. I have a review on Goodreads. Give it four and a half. Loved this book. It was really excellent for a Viking romance. Cannot wait to pick up some more books by her. And then I read The Highlander. I've also read this. I gave this five out of five on my Goodreads. Loved this book. And then I also got By Fire and By Sword by Elaine Coffin. This is book three of the Highline series. So that picture's gorgeous. Spine's really beat up in the back. And then I got found The Wrong Bride. This looks adorable. It's a Highland wedding book and I had to buy it. Spine in the back. And then I found Forbidden by Elizabeth Lowell. It's a, once again a Highland romance book. I found this in hardcover. Spine and the back, which is a really cool, cool back set that picture. And then I found, and then I got online Outlander, the twentieth anniversary edition in hardcover. And I had to, had to pick this up. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. And it's, this is like, it doesn't have a dust jacket. It's just, it's part of the book, which is awesome. And then I got Voyager in hardcover. So I have all the Outlander books in hardcover. I spent like 20 bucks on this book. So it has a dust jacket protector on it. Took me forever to get all the Outlanders in hardcover. But now I do. I cannot wait to get Go Tell the Bees I Am Gone, book 9 of Outlander. So I would highly recommend reading Outlander. It's my favorite book series. Please go read it. So that's all the books I got. Uh, my bed's just a spew of books and Game of Thrones and other DVDs. So I hope you enjoyed. Please comment rate, like, and subscribe, and please add me on Goodreads. So, yeah. Bye! Hi, guys. I'm also back with one more book I got. Well, it's actually a graphic novel, and it is Maximum Ride, the manga, volume 8. I just got this today. Love the cover with Fang. I just ordered volume 9, so I'll be up to date with the manga series. And I also ordered Max Ride, First Flight of the Marvel comic series. And I also ordered The Visitor by Christopher Pike. Love this cover. I love how it shows his feathers everywhere. And then the spine. I did get this new, but if you could see, you can't really tell. There's like a really long crack down the spine so that didn't really make me happy. And the back looks really cool. It just shows the his wing and it looks really cool. And this this uh this completes book four of the Maximum Ride series, The Final Morning. It goes on to book five max. I just love these illustrations. It's such a good manga and comic series. I would highly recommend it. I would also highly recommend reading the books. So, 
Yes, I cannot wait to read this. It looks so good. Love this artwork. So yes, I will be reading and reviewing volume 6 through 8 soon, so yeah, that's about it. Bye!